Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be doing a video that I saw from Sandy's Organized Chaos. Um, I'm going to be doing an alcohol ink cow print tumbler. It's going to be glittery. It's going to be really fun and I just want to see if I can do it. So I'm going to try it out. Like I said, this was not my idea. It's from Sandy's Organized Chaos. Um, she's amazing and I hope this can turn out half as good as hers. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, before I move on, I do want to let you guys know Today that I'm filming this is Thursday, um, April 8th. Tomorrow, April 9th, I am having surgery. So I'm trying to batch film like at least two videos so I can have some content still coming out. Um, so I'm not going like 10 days with no content. So if you see me, um, same outfit, same like everything um, for the next couple of videos, that's why. So if you're watching this, I've probably already had the surgery. I'm sure I'm doing fine. Um, I will post on my community page when it's all said and done, give everybody an update for anybody that cares to read it. And um, so yeah, now I will shut up and get on to the tumbler. So I'm starting off with Mod Podge and um, it is pouring the rain outside today. So I painted my tumbler with Apple Barrel acrylic paint rather than spray painting like inside of my shed because you cannot spray paint while it's raining. You will have spots all over your tumbler and it will just not look good. So I'm coating my entire tumbler, trying to make sure everything is completely covered here. And I really hate using acrylic paint as a base, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So now I think all of that's covered. I'm going to come in with Golf Sands from the Glitter Grind. Let me turn this sideways. And with that, you are just going to cover the entire tumbler again. This is like my favorite white. This, it's between this and another glitter from the Glitter Grind called Diamonds. Um, this is such like a pure sparkly white it's stunning and then diamonds from the glitter grind almost has kind of like a like a bit of silver into it so i mean it shines you know like diamonds and um it's really beautiful so now all of this is covered i'm going to let the mod podge dry and come back for the next step okay so after that mod podge dried i did take it outside and seal it very lightly and now we're going to make the cow spots there's no epoxy on it um, it's just straight on the sealed glitter. So this is caramel alcohol ink from Tim Holtz. I'm going to shake it up real good and, and start adding the spots. So I'm going to start down here and I'm just putting the glitter or I'm sorry, the alcohol ink straight onto that glitter and it soaks it up. So once it soaks it up, it kind of starts to spread out. So just be careful of how much you put on at one time and try to do it slow because even though the glitter is going to soak it up, it will still run. So I'm just going to connect this one down to the bottom. So now this is our first cow spot and now I am just going to keep doing this all over the tumbler until I'm satisfied.
now that the cow spots are on, um, I'm going to take the same ink and I have this brush here. It's stained with um, patina paste, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to put some of this alcohol ink onto the brush here and kind of dab it out around my spots to kind of make it look, I don't know, dirty maybe because, you know, I mean, that's what Sandy did. <laughs> and, um, of course, you know, cows, cows are dirty, so <laughs> we're going to make it dirty. I think it looks pretty cool and it was super easy it literally takes a day I'm gonna put a coat of epoxy over this now um, I'm not going to seal the alcohol inks I never do um, but if you want to I'm sure you can but I'm just going to let this sit to make sure it dries completely and then I will put it on my cup turner over here of course from Bama cups their links will be down in my description also I don't think I mentioned this is a 20 ounce from maker flow they will be down in my description as well before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, you can, you should, and if you're brave enough to start, you will. That was said by Stephen King. That's it for today's tutorial, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm going to also link Sandy, Sandy's Organized Chaos down in my description. She's amazing. Go check out her channel. So if y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.